What up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another tutorial. So today, we are back inside the machine, and I want to share with you guys some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts inside of the machine that's going to help you improve your workflow inside of the machine. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. It's your boy, Young Fizz. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into some of the keyboard shortcuts that I personally use inside of machine here, starting with the command O, and that's just going to open a new project. And on the opposite end, if you want to save something that you created here, you just do command S, and that's going to basically allow you to save your project. All right. Another one I use a lot is command comma, which just opens my preferences up and I'm able to adjust whatever I need really quickly. Another one that I use is, uh, let me say, a command E. Um, that's going to be export ideas as audio. So command E, and you export your ideas and select what you want here. And that's quickly navigated there. Another one that I use is the tab key. And that's going to switch between the, uh, you know, ideas, whatever mode you're in. So you can be in ideas mode or song view mode. And then you just quickly switch to the ideas mode here. So I use pretty much that there. Like I said, that's the tab there. Another one that I use is the E key. And this is going to be working with the um, down here in the sound editor. So basically, if you want to draw notes, you want your pencil tool, hit E on your keyboard. And that allows you to switch between the pencil and then your select tool here. So you can select this and then or say, for example, I want to do that and I want to make a copy. I just hold down option is another one and I just click and drag there and make copies really quickly. If I want to transpose this, I can simply hold down the option key and I can up and down, left and right, so I can move it, nudge it. If I want to nudge it freely, I just hold down the command key and I can nudge it freely here so I can just, you know, easily, same thing working with the, um, the editor keyboard mode. So I just switch to here and then I can move, if I want to transpose something, I can just simply hold down option or if I want to move it, I can hold down command and I can just drag here freely how I want to. All right. So that's the W to get there. So another one here is going to be the S and that's just able to enter the sample mode here. Another one I want to mention is uh, definitely to fine tune things. So say, for example, I want to adjust the swing by 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Just want to hold down shift and that just allows you to get a fine tune there. Same thing goes with working with, uh, let me see, let's say an EQ, whatever the case may be. You want to hold down the shift key and that's going to allow you to fine tune whatever you're trying to fine tune there. All right. And all right. So I mentioned a lot there today. So that's kind of like the top keyboard shortcuts that I use. I know there's a lot more, like say, for example, if you want to change this here, you go down here you click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. It's going to turn this off here. That's the grid there. And so you just do stuff like that. So those are kind of quick keys for that. I don't really use it too much, um, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So I think that is just about all the ones that I personally use off the top of my head. So if you guys have any other ones that you use, let me know down in the comments below. It's your boy Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status. And we will see you on the next video. Peace out.